have a MacBook Air uh, model A1466 EMC2632 and um, the reason for this video is um, as I go to start up the computer normally just hit the power button and just continue but in this case a folder with a question mark comes up and uh, I thought it would go away so I waited 10 minutes nothing the folder with the question mark comes up for two seconds goes away comes back goes away comes back and uh, usually this is um, due to like a um, system error or uh, s s there's a problem with the startup so to fix that you're gonna have to go to recovery mode to get to recovery mode you would have to hold command R oh one thing I forgot to mention make sure that your computer is off if it's not off turn it off you can't get a recovery mode if your computer is on. Again, Command R at the same time, and then once you have those two buttons um, held down, hit the power one. And uh, continue to hold these buttons up until the Apple logo comes up. and just wait for it to load um, if this doesn't come up there would be a, a, like a, a globe that comes up and it says connect to Wi-Fi um, if that's the case connect to Wi-Fi and it should automatically start downloading to get to a uh, recovery mode so there's no worries there so it's it's either this screen's gonna come up or the or the one with the globe that asks you to uh, connect to Wi-Fi Now this screen comes up. As you can see, um, first things first, you want to go to Disk Utility, Continue, and you want to make sure that your uh, your hard drive is functioning okay. So you're gonna go to, I mean, it, it might be named differently, but it should be. Always on the top. Mine is called Macintosh HD. And as you can see, there's options. You can verify the disk if there's something wrong with it. So you would have to hit verify. So it's verifying. And if everything checks out, it should say the volume. Da 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 da. Appears to be okay. The partition map appears to be okay. And it's like, as you can see, it's still verifying. And and if everything comes up okay, you should be good. If it says there's an error, you would have to hit repair disk. As in my case, everything's okay. Now, before you exit, make sure you go to to disk utility. Or here we go, not disk utility in the left corner where it says startup disk tap startup disk and from here you should you should be able to start up from one of these now the problem I heard ha I had earlier this wasn't showing up there was no startup associated with it there was nothing it's like the whole system was wiped so if if this comes up just select that and restart you should be from there on you should be okay just boot to, um, boot to the screen and you should be good now if this this doesn't come up and there's don't restart because you would you would have to re, re, redo all the steps and get back to here which is a bit time consuming depending if you you have to download um, so again if there's nothing here just go back here and uh, Go back to the top and hit quit. Sorry, quit startup, and it should take you to a. I mean, um, if the disk utility doesn't come up, 
you can just go to uh, utilities any one of these will do fine and just exit out oh it should have came up oh there we go yeah if, if it doesn't come up using that you can go to utilities and select one of these and just hit the X as you can see hit the X it should it should sometimes come up if it doesn't come up just go to terminal quit terminal and there there you go and then um, back to this uh, if there was no startup disk and uh, you already tried disk utility disk uh, repair uh, make sure you try it for both before you proceed uh, verify the disk then repair then select the other one below it verify the disk then repair it if uh, if everything seems to be okay then just hit exit out of here then you would have to reinstall OS X continue hit continue just agree with all those terms and uh, once you download um, downloading should take about hour and a half two hours depending on your connection in my case it took two hours uh, once you have it downloaded, it should install itself, and from there on, you should get to the menu. Um, let me know if you guys find that helpful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. If not, uh, feel free to message me, and I can try to help you guys out and uh, see what can what we can do.